What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing the Manchester City against Watford Premier League preview. That's right, Manchester City taking on Watford in the Premier League Saturday, April 23rd with a 3pm kickoff time from the Etihad Stadium. It's a chance here for Manchester City to go 4 points clear at the top of the Premier League with Liverpool playing on Sunday at home against Everton in the Merseyside derby. It's a big game, another must-win game here for Manchester City. But before I do crack on with this video, I want to talk about my new partnership. Now, I've gone into partnership with BetMate. They're an incredible app that I would really like everybody to go and check out. They're running a special JSGC pot this weekend for the game against Watford. It's worth £50. It's completely free to enter for this weekend. So anyone that would join, I really would appreciate doing that. It does help to support the future content created here on my channel. You get access to some free pots as well when you do join up with Betmate. So what's not to enjoy for everybody. I went and joined up last weekend on the United game and ended up winning £15 for something that I entered for free. So it's worthwhile, uh, but it's pretty much a fantasy football based app based on analytics. You're getting points for goals scored, for assists, for clean sheets, for tackles, interceptions, that's right, defensive players. They're not getting forgotten about here. So it does make the app unique. It's a fun game to play. Teams can be edited up to five minutes before kickoff, so you won't get caught out by Pep Guardiola's rotation. I'm going to be changing my team as well. Um, for any players that do not start, I will speak about the app continuously throughout this video, uh, and I will be speaking about my Betmate team as I do go through uh, the video as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, having a look at who's starting, and uh, yeah, you can edit your team up to five minutes before kickoff, and so that to me does give you a really good chance of winning based on who is going to be starting in the game. Now, like I said, the app is completely free to download and it's completely free to enter my pot this weekend. All you need to do, press that link in my description. That's going to take you to the download page to download the free app, uh, which is going to be on the App Store. And then once you've signed up, all you need to do, press the join button and then use my unique code, which is JSG-C01 to join my private league and I see no reason here why we can't all challenge each other and see who reigns supreme at top of the table for when it comes to Betmate. I'll give a shout out to whomever does finish top of the, this weekend's pot uh, on my next video after the game. The app is only available in the UK right now. So if you are tuning in from the UK, I really would appreciate anybody downloading it, using my link and joining my league. And let's have some fun. Go and check that out. Free to download, free to enter. What's not to like? Let's crack on then with this preview. Uh, and let's speak first about our opposition's Watford, currently sitting in 19th place, in serious danger of being relegated. Seven points behind Everton in 17th, with Watford playing a game more too. The dream weekend for Watford uh, is for Watford to win, Everton to lose. That means their gap will be narrowed to just four points. A disastrous weekend for Watford sees Manchester City beat them and Everton win which would send Watford 10 points behind Everton and from safety uh, with five games for them to play and I would say they're pretty much staring down a barrel uh, if that was to happen and that situation is the ideal scenario for Manchester City. A City win and an Everton win this weekend is brilliant because that sends us four points top of the uh, four points clear at the top of the Premier League. Now Watford not in great form. Uh, lost their last game at home against Brentford thanks to I think it was a 95th minute winner from Brentford. They've lost the last three games and they've only won one in their last eight games for Watford so not going too great for them. 
at the moment. Now Watford are being led by manager Roy Hodgson. It was always tricky for Pep Guardiola when we played against Crystal Palace when Roy Hodgson was in charge there. So I don't think this is going to be as straightforward as maybe what some are thinking. Uh, so it, what I'm saying is Manchester City really need to turn up and play to the very best of our ability if we are to win this game and get a good result. Now looking at the Watford team in terms of dangers I've got Emmanuel Dennis in my Betmate team this weekend. I've been impressed with him. I think he's the danger here that could well hurt Manchester City when it comes to Watford trying to hurt us on the counter-attack. Jao Pedro would be another tip up front. Is that Watford are going to score. I think it's going to come via either Dennis or Jao Pedro. So if it was me, I'd be looking at putting one of them two into your team. Looking for other players in Watford's team that you could maybe have a think about putting into your betmate team for this weekend. Foster in goal, good goalkeeper. Kamara at the back. Saar, uh, he could be decent. He's a decent midfielder. Uh, playing out wide as well. Could maybe get an assist or maybe even a goal like I said Pedro got these players on my bench in my betmate team Musa Sizoko could be a good player to put into your teams certainly for the tackles and interception side now Watford they'll be well rested they've not played since last Saturday they've had a week's rest Manchester City we played on Wednesday in a hard fought game against Brighton at home which Manchester City won by three goals to nil thanks to three second half goals Manchester City are also going to be playing on Tuesday night against Real Madrid in the Champions League semi-final first leg Manchester City will rotate with that in mind. Now Manchester City's win against Brighton was Manchester City's first win in four games in all competitions. We have had some su uh, success during that with us going through to the Champions League semi-final. Uh, also uh, Liverpool not beat us so uh, we got things into our own hands and Liverpool no longer have it in their own hands when it comes to the Premier League title. However we did exit out the FA Cup at the semi-final stage against Liverpool so swings and roundabouts. Now um, Manchester City though, they need to be focused in this game. We've got a chance here to go four points clear. A tricky Merseyside derby for Liverpool to contemplate on Sunday. There's time here for us to turn the screw and put them under serious pressure. Them being four points behind and heading into a Merseyside derby with a must win game for them where Everton are really needing points at the bottom. It's up in the stakes is what Manchester City can do here. And so uh, there's no room for error. There's no margin for them to be able to um, to rotate or rest. And that's what Manchester City need to do here, considering Liverpool have also got a Champions League game coming up on Wednesday against Villarreal. So Manchester City just need to turn up them stakes a little bit here. Uh, what would be really nice for City would be for us to obviously start clawing back some of that goal difference against Liverpool. They've currently got six goal difference on us. And it'd be nice for us to go out there, get a 4-5-6-0 win here. Would be great and catch up that goal difference. But at the moment, I'm just settled for any win as long as we do win because Liverpool then are under pressure going into that Everton game. And I think whatever's happened in the City game will have uh, implications on what happens in the Merseyside derby. Uh, like I said, Manchester City, uh, they want to be focusing here because we can't start thinking about Real Madrid. We can't start thinking uh, about how the job's already done. We need to be focused. We've got a good result against Brighton and we need to make sure now that we get the momentum and we take that forward. We're at home here, uh, so we need to make that count and hopefully the fans can really turn up and get behind the boys. It's a Saturday 3pm kickoff, quite possibly our last Saturday 3pm kickoff uh, game of the season, so hopefully everyone will be really motivated for that uh, and can get behind the boys. I will be one of them at the Etihad for this game, really looking forward to it, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be a good game and a comfortable win for Manchester City would be great. Uh, but just looking at this game, you think this is a winnable fixture for Manchester City you look at this and you think Manchester City are going to win and Manchester City are going to win big Watford struggling sitting in 19th like I said it would be nice to make a dint into that goal difference but the most important thing here is Manchester City turning up and making sure that we get them three points now in terms of my score prediction I'm going for a 5-0 win for Manchester City. Manchester City are currently 12 to 1 on to win this game on Skybet. A draw is 19 to 2 and Watford to win this game are 28 to 1. My score prediction 5 0 on Skybet is 11 to 1. With that being said, I have placed a pound on it. I'm backing myself here. So hopefully City can go out there and win 5 0. I will be slightly upset 
uh, if Manchester City are five 0 up going into adding on time, and Watford end up spoiling our clean sheets, and it ends up being five one, or Manchester City end up scoring because I won't know whether to celebrate or I've just lost money if we just made it six 0 considering we're already five 0 up and got the three points in the bag. Love it. That's what we're going for now. Team news, rotation will be in place. Anyone that did start against Liverpool in the FA Cup semi-final last weekend and against Brighton midweek uh, and who will probably start against Real Madrid will probably be rested here. So that could well be João Cancelo, John Stones, Nathan Ake, Bernardo Silva and Phil Foden. We could see Ake start on here depending on the fitness of Walker. Uh, the rumours going round are saying that it's not good and we might not see Kyle Walker for the rest of the season which makes Cancelo's yellow card against uh, Atletico Madrid just that even more stupid than what it already was but there we go so we could well start to see Manchester City experimenting at right back and left back for this game so uh, yeah Ake and Stones they had little niggles against Brighton I don't think they'll be risked for this game but we will see now uh, on my bet mate I've got Edison in goal so I'm backing him to get a clean sheet I'm going for Cancelo to start in this game uh, he's in with Ruben Diaz who came off the bench, he did 45 minutes against Brighton, he needs 90 minutes under his belt, so I would be starting him in this game. I've got for Kevin De Bruyne to be wrist, uh, give him an hour, bring him off, uh, and then let him rest ready for Real Madrid. I just think this is a very important game, Manchester City needs to win. De Bruyne, we're at our best with De Bruyne in the team, and I'd get him in, get him in for an hour, get the job done, and get him off is what I would be thinking. I put Riyad Mahrez in my team too, De Bruyne on my camp Captain Mahrez, my vice captain. Uh, I think Raheem Sterling may well start here, so I've put him in uh, and I'm backing him to score and do well for Manchester City. So that's my Betmate team that I am going for. Go and select your Betmate team. Like I said, link in the description. You want to go and download it and join my league with all the details in the description. Now, I'm going to pop up my team prediction for you guys. I'm going for Edison in goal, Cancelo at right back, Zinchenko at left back, Ruben Diaz and Americ Laporte. I can see Manchester City. It's a shame we've not got John Stones fit here. I am more than likely, if we're struggling at right back, I can see John Stones starting alongside Ruben Diaz and Americ Laporte for Real Madrid. And then it being one of Zinchenko or Ake starting uh, at left back and so we have to trial and see uh, and Zinchenko would get my nod here and I'd be saying to the players that anyone that impresses will be starting against Real Madrid on Tuesday night I'm going for Rodri, De Bruyne and Gundogan to be our midfield three Mahrez on the right wing Grealish on the left wing and Raheem Sterling through the middle now I was trying to squeeze uh, Gabriel Jesus into this game uh, but uh, going off how well Gabriel Jesus did last time out when we played against Real Madrid I've got a feeling he might start against Real Madrid, so uh, City could choose to start him here. I think they might bring Jesus off the bench once more, uh, just give him 30 minutes and see what he can do. I, I personally feel like Jesus is at his best when he is coming off the bench, that he can make an impact, he can make uh, something change for Manchester City. I just feel like he's uh, better suited to coming off the bench for Manchester City and being the super sub than I do starting, getting 60, 70 minutes under his belt and then coming off because it's not worked. Uh, Bernardo, Foden, they're on the bench if they're needed. Rodri Dinho, uh, they uh, I'm going for Rodri to start, but we could see Fernandinho rotated here. Looking further ahead, City have got a game next weekend against Leeds United away from home, so we could see Rodri starting for that. And to be honest, I'd prefer for Rodri to start. Um, in that game against Leeds and Fernandinho to start here so if we are to a bit of rotation we could well see that now lastly quick betting tips I'm going for City 5-0 I'll put a bet on that that's what I'm going for uh, I don't think this will be both teams to score like I said though if Watford are to score I can see it being one of Dennis or Pedro so something to consider if you are going to be entering my pot for bet mate uh, I'm backing Raheem Sterling to score any time as well so hopefully that will work uh, but do remember wait until the teams have been announced if you you are going to gamble with Betmate, you can uh, edit the team up to five minutes before kickoff. So do wait until the teams have been announced uh, before making your final decision on your team. Do go and enter now, but you can edit and change it. And if you are going to gamble, do make sure you gamble responsibly.
Let's go. Looking forward to this one. So there we go. That's been the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video. 100 likes is the aim. Any help towards that would be much appreciated. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, including your score and team prediction for this game. Subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button. Press the bell and put your push notifications on. Now less than 30 subscribers away from 23,000 subscribers. So hopefully we can hit that very, very soon. Also, don't forget as well, social media links. They're in the description below and slide across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries and do go and check out my new partner betmate all details there in the description let's go and have some fun let's see who can finish top of my pot can get a shout out on one of my videos and get to win first prize 25 pound uh, this prize is for first second third fourth and fifth all details are on the betmate app Go and download that using my link and go and join my league. Like I said, code JSG-C01 will take you to my pot to join for this game. And I'll see you all again on the other side. We've got a match vlog to look forward to as well for this game. So I'll see you then. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.